Hey Pisces, so it's me Alexis. Welcome back to my astrology channel and today I'm going to be going ahead and give you guys a new moon horoscope and tarot reading for the new moon in Libra on September 28th. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the reading. If you are a Pisces sun or rising, this video will apply for you. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more horoscopes and tarot readings. So Pisces, I just want to say thank you so much for waiting for this video to be posted because I always do you guys last because you're the last in the zodiac yeah i know and i feel like every time i do a video for you guys it's really dramatic because i think for the first video i did for you guys i like yelled at you and then for the last one i was really happy for you so maybe this time i'll be happy for you guys again so um hopefully it's gonna be that way i just want to say thank you guys so much for you know being so patient so let's go ahead and kind of talk about what the heck is going on in the universe so the new moon is going to happen on september 28th it's going to be in five degrees libra and then one thing i do want to talk about is how the transiting venus will be squared to, um to pluto so with that dynamic going on venus is the planet of relationships pleasure, harmony, all that good stuff. And then Pluto is the planet of turmoil, the planet of upheaval and upheaval and turmoil that you have no control over. It just, it just happens. So with Venus being squared to Pluto in that sense, you know, maybe in regards to your connections, you know, especially since it's in Libra, there could be some connections in your life where it could be, you know, some turmoil. Maybe there, there's some changes that need to be made and there's no way for you to like shove it under the rug anymore. It has to be confronted now. Pluto is kind of like that one person where they like throw up everything from the rug and be like, look, this is the problem. Now it is all in your face, like fix the problem. So um, yeah, that's what's going on. Now Pisces, um, this, new, yeah, this new moon in Libra is going to be happening in your eighth house. And then the transiting Pluto is going to be in your 11th house. So when I think of the 11th house, I, I mean, when I think of the eighth house, let's talk about the eighth house first. Um, when I think about the 8th house, I think of power dynamics, I think of power struggles on a psychological level or like, you know, not a financial level. Um, the 8th house tends to represent, you know, how you stand your ground against other people. So like if the 2nd house is the house of stability on by yourself, you know, the 8th house is stability with other people. Like how do you stand your ground with other people? And, you know, by establishing that ground, it could either be, you know, it could be a power struggle or it could be equality. And with Pisces ruling your eighth house, you know, hopefully, you know, you want things to be fair, you want things to be equal. Now, the transiting Pluto is going to be in Capricorn, and Pluto is currently transiting your 11th house. So the 11th house is going to be the house of friends, the house of, you know, group dynamics, um, how you are in a group setting, when it comes to questions about, you know, where do I belong, or who are my friends, or what is my role in group situations, you know, who am I in a group project? <laughs> um, the 11th house is that house so um yeah so with that going on and then with the transiting venus in libra in your eighth house um being squared to the transiting pluto in your 11th house i feel like this may be a new moon where you are trying to establish some fairness in your power struggles with people in your life because you know inevitably you know no matter who it is like whether it's a loved one or a friend or you know your parents or whatever you are going to face some power struggles just because you know everyone has their own power and then you know since everybody has their own power and since everybody is connected with each other you know there's bound to be times whenever there is you know some friction and Libra, I think this new moon is going to be a great way for you to kind of, you know, smooth out some of those conflicts and those power dynamics and to really just, you know, make your own power and stand your own ground while honoring the power of others. So Pisces, it's like this is kind of like a time for you to kind of equalize your standing with other people. And here's the, here's the thing, though. Um, <laughs> You got Capricorn ruling your 11th house and you got Pluto chancing there. So in this new moon, you know, you have this goal of wanting to implement fairness and equality with how you are with people when it comes to power struggles. However, since, you know, Pluto is transiting your 11th house and is square to the transiting Venus, you know, people may have already put you in a box and already put you in a certain role. So, and depending on this role, maybe it conflicts with your goals for the new moon. So maybe you're at a point where you're kind of like, you know, let's be fair, you know, let's kind of, let's, let's be mediators. Let's try to, you know, kind of make things peaceful and just and considerate in terms of our power struggle so that we don't have too much friction, you know? 
maybe people in your friend group label you as like the person who starts conflicts or maybe the person who does cause the friction or maybe there's people in your friend group or in your various you know group settings who perceive you as the person who has to be right all the time or like any sort of role that kind of contradicts this mediating role that you kind of want to take on for this new moon so that you can kind of smooth out your relationship dynamics yeah maybe there are people in you know group situations that kind of lump you into a certain box to where they kind of don't agree with that and because of that you're sitting here like you know i kind of want to establish my own peace and for people to treat me fairly and for me to treat them fairly but you know there are some people out there who have already framed you in a box in a way where it's like oh no you can't do that because that doesn't fit the the description that i have for you so you know this is a matter of like you know knowing on how to change your relationship dynamics and your power struggles with other people and maybe a difference of like you know who you are in a group so it's kind of like you know managing your own identity versus the identity that people have already placed on you um if it's on a literal level maybe you're trying to clear out your debt maybe you're trying to clear out a debt that, that you have for somebody or someone has for you you're trying to clear out that financial situation but maybe you know certain people in, already, in, a, in a certain group have already labeled you as someone who may not you know finish this deal or finish this debt or something along those lines so um yeah pisces let's go ahead and kind of see what the cards have to say for you okay um you interesting okay I got the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Swords, Six of Cups. So I don't think I'm wrong in certain extents because I definitely think that there are people who are trying to put you in a little box or people who are trying to frame you to be a certain person based off of the memories they have of you because they define you through those memories. Um, especially if it's an emotional one. So there's people out there, maybe in your friend group, maybe friends, maybe, you know, people that you're in a club with, you know, they they associate you by the memories that you give them. And from those memories, they judge you and they define you with those memories. You're at a point where, yes, I mean, maybe this ideal of yours right now is to establish a fair and just, you know, dynamic for the relationships that you have right now. And, you know, you're, I mean, with the Knight of Swords, like, you're really, you know, you're really into the thought. You really want to get there. But sometimes, you know, it, it's, it's a little hard to get there. You might lose yourself to your thoughts. So, I mean, with this whole thing, I do want to say that you do have the right to fight for your ideals in terms of like your power struggles with other people but do be careful and not let the thoughts eat you up i will say though like it's a little it's a very ambiguous situation because i mean how else can i increase the, the ambiguity with the seven of cups you don't quite know where to go right now you're kind of sitting here like well you know i do want things to be equal but then people have already defined me in a certain way and i don't know where to quite go and you know this deck doesn't really give you a straight answer so a lot of it really i think i mean honestly for any de for any reading the, the, the decision is up to you obviously but for like for this particular reading it really truly is up to you i think the underlying you know question here is you know with with whatever decision you make does it align with who you are does the, does your decision you know establish fairness for yourself because i will say that like yeah it might be unfair for people to tie you down with the memories that they have of you but you may not also know where you're quite going yet and because of that you could feel a little bit emotionally confused or you know you might not know what to do so pisces i think what you should do is you know kind of sit and contemplate and kind of think okay you know i realize now that people have placed me into a certain box i have a certain role to play and i have to decide whether i like that role and whether that role is true to me or whether that role is fair for me and if it's not fair for me i have to know whether you know this you know ideal that i'm chasing is right for me because you know at the end of the day pisces i think this sort of situation kind of outlines like a self-discovery kind of kind of journey but you have to be careful because there's some people that may be in the way 
And at the end of the day, like, if you just knew who you were, like, this situation would be crystal clear. That's what I, that's that's what I'm gonna say. The reason why it's not clear right now is because it's not clear on who you want to be. And I think once you figure that out, I think you'll know the right decision to make because it it truly feels like a you know a gray situation. It's not all black and white. And um, you know, do take your time to kind of set it out and kind of look at you know what's good and what's bad and really find an answer that is true to who you are. So um, yeah, Pisces, that is pretty much your reading for the new moon. Um, I hope you guys resonate with the reading. This time I didn't really yell at you at this, like this time. It's very like, you know, very calm. So I <laughs> hope you guys <laughs> like that calmness and I hope you guys have a great new moon.